to discuss and debate the release of the memos by the Obama, uh, Obama administration uh, and what the implications are. Best-selling author and columnist Ann Coulter is in L.A. tonight. Fox News analyst Susan Estridge, who is usually in L.A., she's a USC law professor and Fox News analyst, but tonight she's in Vegas. And our own Janine Pirro, we welcome back to the set, the host, of course, of the hit show, Judge Janine Pirro. Uh, so, Ann, what do you, what do you say about, uh, you know, this, uh, the memo that says it was all for nothing? Um, well, I have three reasons for thinking that it is not true. One is torture has been used to get information out of people for thousands of years. I think there is reason to think it works, whether or not um, um, it is moral is a separate question. Um, I don't think what we were doing was anything resembling torture. In fact, these memos that were released were specifically lawyers trying to determine how far you could go to get information without it being torture. We now have not only the people who are closest to it observing it um, at the CIA, but also Obama's own intelligence director, Blair, saying um, we did get good information out of this. And finally, the, 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 the specific circumstances of one of the main main um, harsh interrogation revelations was that, um, um, I think it was Zubeda was saying, they asked him what's coming next, and he said, oh, well, you'll see. And then they don't torture him, but they put him through, you know, some harsh interrogation techniques. Yeah, 83 and, times and the water boarding. I'd say that's pretty in harsh. One, yeah, in 83 one month. times, but in each one, month, one is three like times 10 to day, 20 right? seconds. Um, Each one yeah, is like 10 uh, to 20 seconds, I, so don't I, make it sound like, I, I, I mean, people do this at Great I, Adventure for more than 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> that, well, maybe. Uh, but Susan, putting aside Anne's point that this isn't much compared to them cutting off Danny Pearl's head because he's Jewish, uh, you know, uh, the bad guys, uh, we have a situation where you have a terrible embarrassment and it seems uh, to be on both sides of the aisle. How do you respond to now uh, in the Washington Post, the former CIA director Porter Goss uh, saying that he was, quote, slack-jawed to read that members claimed to have not understood that the techniques on which they were briefed were actually to be employed or that specific techniques such as waterboarding were never mentioned. And he specifically references House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who apparently knew uh, that this stuff was going to be going on uh, as of 2002, regardless of her public statements now to the contrary. Well, you know, Gerardo, I think if we decide to play the blame game here, we can find plenty of people to blame. And I think it's certainly true that the, the, the thinking in 2001 and 2002 after 9-11 of many people was, look, do whatever you need to do to make sure this never happens again. So I'm not really that interested in the blame game. I, I, I have no doubt that Pelosi was briefed about some of this. I have no doubt that some of the lawyers in the Bush administration were literally making a good faith effort to do what they thought people wanted them to do. My point is simply this. We have known for a long time, those, pe those people in, in law enforcement, in criminal justice, in foreign policy, that if you use too much much pressure. Call it what you will. If you get too coercive, people will say anything. And so, yeah, think but here's what the report says. A subject in extreme pain may provide an answer, any answer, or many answers in order to get the pain to stop. I mean, that's right. in the memo that was just published. But here's, right. here's my point. Let, let, me, let me ask. I want to ask the judge, and I'm going to come back to you, uh, Susan and Anne, on the political side of it. But, you know, my point is the, the memos are out there, but Obama has to instruct Eric Holder, not to prosecute people, oh. because Susan is right. You can't judge people what they did in 2001, 2002. I might have cut the guy's finger off if I was in charge. I didn't know. I mean, you can't judge him by a nice spring night in 2009. Well, you know what? It's easy to look at it now and say, you know what? That seems very uncivilized. But the bottom line is it was post 9-11. We were in a scenario where we were afraid that more Americans were going to be killed. And by the way, is, this, is waterboarding torture? Maybe, yes. maybe not. 83 yes. times in okay. a month. It's 84 torture. times, yes. Trust. But here's the issue. Everyone, depending upon their political philosophy, says it works or it doesn't work. Show me some Somebody show me some what kind about of report prosecuting that it does the people? Work. What about this truth commission? That, okay, but here's the thing. What you've got is you've got the lawyers who are saying that it is not a violation of the United Nations Convention Against Torture, which defines what torture is as pain and suffering. They put it in the conjunctive instead of the disjunctive, and that's how they justified it. But at the end of the day, are they going to prosecute them? No. Everyone knew. Pelosi knew. When was the last time a congressional truth commission came out with truth? Uh, Susan, I, I don't want to give you short shrift here. Uh, you know, I worry 
about the politicization where any uh, subsequent administration then uh, investigates the previous administration and judges by the harshest possible standards whatever what was done whether it's torture or some more benign issue uh, that's why I'm against it and and you know uh, we, we can debate whether or not the memo should have been released but I think to take it any further will be damaging to the country and ultimately to our national security what say you I say you're right, Geraldo. See, you and I are reasonable people. I think we have to learn from mistakes. I think we ought to try to be transparent. But I don't see any benefit to going around and trying to single out whichever lawyer wrote the memo or individuals who thought they were doing what they had been told to do. I, I just don't see it helping us to unite, to move forward, and, and I frankly don't think the Obama Justice Department is going to do that. It, it seems, you know, uh, and I, I really have come to be uh, fond of uh, General Alberto Gonzalez, the Attorney General. He was White House counsel when this mess uh, hit the fan. Uh, but it, isn't it apparent that whoever was running Washington, whether it was the President or the Vice President, whoever really was in charge, they told people, listen, this is what we're going to do. Find a way to make it right. Um, with the interrogation memos, I, I think just I have generally, to say, I think you could I write a whole. Let my, Go ahead. My silence on this suggests anything to the contrary. I think the three of you are out of your minds if you think anything that was done to these people is anything within the same universe as torture. You're talking about putting a caterpillar in a terrorist cell. That is not torture. I mean, unless you are. Well, they host it, on MSNBC Judge Pirro, and you're afraid of bugs. Um, these are people who I were listen allowed... To the judge. I, I, got I got it, I got it. It wasn't torture. Was they, it would have been there's cloy, no but I have one other point. These are people we should have could have killed on the battlefield. There's, and that would have been absolutely well, fine. I, believe me, I can't. I could tell you stories the from the battlefields I have heads. seen. I, I've seen a lot worse than waterboarding, but what about waterboarding specifically? Okay, okay, look, like Anne, there, Anne, Anne, there's no it, question, it. Anne, that, 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 that there are, people something. have done worse things, Anne, like Hussein putting battery acid down prisoners' uh, throats. But here's the bottom line. The United States has prosecuted, after World War II, the Japanese for waterboarding our that is soldiers. Not true. That is not true. That is true. That is true. That is true. That precedent was there. The precedent is there, Anne, and the fact that the Bush administration why, why, you, why, why are you so you're, confident it's a lie? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'll Google it, but why? Yeah. Because they were amputating arms and putting maggots But in, then why was waterboarding in the head. charges, you. And You know what? You, you can because say that I'll, there were well, worse answer. things that happened, I'll answer, I'll but answer. that doesn't mean that I'll the answer. waterboarding was because not included in one then. case... Because they were also going after civilians. Like I say, we could have killed these guys on the battlefield. That's not the answer you cannot to the question. torture a civilian. That's you also can, you can't do anything to a civilian. Um, to an actual torture. You know what? We ought to give torture blows. Torture blows. You heard it here first. Torture blows. We don't torture. This is a lie. No more of this stuff. It doesn't get Moreover, anything. How, if you tortured me, I'd tell you whatever. You're, I, I'd, the I'd say my name was Craig we'll if you tortured me. Yeah, and you know what? We ought to get people so they can I tell you, I tell you, Sunday was Monday if you tortured me. What do I care? Next. You know, I think it's next. They're going. Uh, showing those beefcake photos of you <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but Susan releasing these documents what was the motive really what, what I mean was it really because they were going to come out anyway in a lawsuit no I, I I think the motive is in part you know a general concern with transparency but I think it's also to make clear that being against torture doesn't mean you're soft on terrorism I agree with right. that we're all agreed on that yeah. wonderful to see you Anne and Susan wish you were here nice to see you judge oh B Arthur we, we have to remember B Arthur